Hello, welcome to my uh, How to Lane with Kassadin guide by Shimiyaki. So I've just started this game, there's about 30 minutes to spawn. You can see that I've started with boots of speed and three health bots. Having the speed advantage with Kassadin and lane is incredibly powerful. It lets you sneak up on to your opponent, throw a null sphere off, and kind of back away with a lot of safety. As you can see here, my two bot lane have gone into their jungle to invade. No, it's not exactly the brightest idea. They went and they almost killed their Tristana. But uh, coming up the river here is their Lux and their Shin, and they're getting themselves into a fight. Noticing it, I start to move down into the river brush right near mid. I'm trying to position myself in the back to hit their squishies, but the Lux flash flashed after the kale, so Shin's attacking me and he's pretty low. So I chase after him and he gets low enough where I hit him with a null sphere and my ignite and I'm able to flash over the wall and get away very safely. I've got about a bar left. MF is full health though and she's chasing after the Lux. Lux throws down her slow. Then MF flashed over it. However I see them coming up to me and the fiddlesticks is coming right to me. I throw my null sphere on him and it silences him Stopping his drain, and we're able to pick up two kills from that level 1 invade. It's a great advantage to have with Kassadin. Though I may not have the level advantage or the health advantage, I did get first blood. That's seven, and I got another kill, so I got 700 gold right off the bat. I get to my lane, and I'm having to deal with this Tristana. And she's got full health because she got low earlier, so she went back and healed. So I don't, I don't have that health advantage. So she pushes my minions up to the turret, and I'm having to use a pot already. Now I'm doing my best to last hit her off the turret. I'm missing quite a few, but I'm getting enough of them to, to stay on par with this Tristana. Tristana is a character that, in lane, she's not going to do very heavy burst damage before level 6. So having more health pots is going to help let me keep my sustainability in lane. If you can see here, I just popped another health pot. So I'm down two health pots already, but I still did get those two kills. So even if I was to go back now, I'd have a huge advantage over her in lane. Though I'm not, I'm just throwing some early harass and doing my best to farm. She sees that I'm kind of low though, and she jumps in on me and exhausts me. Though I have my force pulse charge that I leveled up at level 2, and I throw it on her. And it's able to slow her enough that I'm able to walk away, even with the exhaust on me, and stay out of her range. So I go back and I buy, bought another health potion, a ruby crystal, and a sapphire crystal to start my catalyst for my Rod of Ages. Tristana during this though, she pushes my lane pretty hard, and Tristana is a pretty, pretty hard pusher. So you can only expect that much, especially against a Kassadin, because he doesn't have a lot of he, he doesn't have a lot of pushing power in general. And since he is a melee champion, you do have to be kind of worried about her harass from ranged champions. Knowing that, and knowing that Tristana doesn't have a lot of abilities that she spams, I'm having to level up my Null Sphere just to keep poke on her, just to keep her away from me. This is not a very typical decision to do. But I'm having to do it just because I have to get enough poke on her to where I can actually get a kill on her. And I'm not getting a lot of force pulse other charges other than from my own null spheres. So I'm fast forwarding through all of this, it's just farming. Now that I've hit level 6, Tristan is pretty low. This is where Kassin really is able to shine. With a Riftwalk force pulse, he's able to do so much damage. I can see that this Tristana is getting kind of close. And right here, I move in with the Rithwalk, Force Pulse, Null Sphere, I throw my Ignite on her, and I'm able to pick up an easy kill. Now that I have the lane cleared, I'm able to free farm. This is giving me even more of an advantage over Tristana in, in the lane. Not only do I have three kills now, but I'm starting to out farm her. And I'm getting a lane level advantage as well. The level advantage is going to help me out so much. I'm going to get my Null Sphere charges first. When I was recording this, I accidentally sped through that and didn't show you what happened. 
Tristana came in back at me at mid, and I was pretty low. She jumped on top of me and pushed me back towards her turret, but it pushed me into the river. And I walked away and ripped over the wall and had no problems. She came back though, right then as you just saw, jumped at me again, used Trick Knight, and I rift walked away, and everything was okay. After level 6, Cassidy has so much ungankable power. With his rift walk, it's virtually impossible to catch up to him. Unless he runs out of mana, or you catch him while he's on cooldown, or you stun lock him down, there's not very much that you can do to him. And combining that with Flash, he's just gotten so much extension with it. So as you can see here, my Null Spear is starting to hit from very, very hard. It's level 4 now, I believe, and it's just doing a massive amount of damage. It's a great poke to have with Kastanen, especially against this Tristana, though normally Force Pulse would be so much more powerful, but since Tristana, again, it doesn't have a lot of abilities that she's able to spam, I'm not able to spam my Force Pulse as much as I should be able to, so it wasn't worth leveling quite yet. So brushing the Null Sphere is where it was at. You can notice that I'm really just trying to last hit with my Nether Blade, and this is very important to get as much farm as possible on Cassidy. Though I had those three early kills, I still have the gold advantage, even if I fall behind it in CS. So you can see here, I poked, poked Tristana down low enough where I was able to, again, Rift Block on top of her, throw a Force Pulse, Null Spear, and Ignite her again for another very easy kill. I'm now 4-0 right now, and I'm just gaining even more levels on this Tristana and outfarming her tremendously at this point. So Shin and Rumble come to gank me, and I, I juke them in the bush, Rift Block over the wall, and flash away, and everything is quite okay. Though I can see here that I'm only one creep away from leveling, and already having my catalyst at this point, I just last hit a minion, and I heal back up with my catalyst. So at this point, Shin is taking over the lane for Tristana, who's still respawning. Though I called the MIA, I think. Actually, I did not call the MIA. <laughs> so she went down the bot. I did ping her, though. Or she was punk, rather. Though seeing that Tristana was down there, and that Rumble is back at top, I get some damage done on this Shin. It ended up not being as worth it as I wanted to, as I had to use a health pot. His cast and his cooldowns were a little too long right now. However, I did get him low enough at this point, and I could move in to try and get a kill. However, when he's at half a bar here, he has two dodges on me, otherwise he would be dead. So I miss out on a kill there, but it is low enough to make him go back. And he's not able to ult at this point either, because he's just he's just too low, he would die instantly. So you can see here, Fiddle tries to come in and gank me, though by the time his ult gets off, I've already ripped Hawk away, <laughs> and I'm already safe. He chased after me with Ghost though. I rift walk again, and now I'm completely safe, back in my two turrets. And he's stuck there, in our jungle, making a fool of himself for trying to gank a Kassadin. However, Tristana pushes my lane, and she does get some pretty good damage done on my turret. Tristana being such a heavy pusher with her, with her explosive shot, it's really hard to go back against her unless you've killed her. Garen comes down to try and get a gank, however, there's a huge fight going on in Bot. I didn't go down to join the fight at Bot because I know that I can kill this Tristana and I know that I can push this lane and try and get a free turret out of it. Though seeing that Tristana is pretty full HP and that Bot lane ended up losing the fight, I need to go down and help. It's just Garen down there versus Rumble and Fiddlesticks. I'm looking for him to try and go in and find him. However, he kind of hesitates way too long, and Lux and Tristana push my lane very heavily. This almost cost me my turret, by the time I get back there, it's almost dead. 
I do manage, however, to get in and get a big Null Sphere Force Pulse combo on that Tristana, doing a shit ton of damage. This is a good amount of damage for Kassanen to be at this point in the game, but only a very small amount of his potential. It was enough to make Tristana go back, though. So with Tristana being back and me and MF now pushing on this Lux, we're able to get decently far on the turret. However, Shin is now left atop alone. So I move down toward the river, and I see Tristana walking down the bot. So I ping her, and that in mid is still, still missing. I go back to farm my creeps. Lux pokes her head around the corner, and I'm able to throw a Null Sphere on her. After she threw her slow out with the that did the, her slow did land on top of me, but she wasn't able to detonate it just because of the silence. So as you saw right there, with the rift block null sphere force pulse combo, I almost one shot her in that combo. I do have the level advantage and a huge item advantage over this Lux, and it's just making me so much more powerful. So I'm still in laning phase here, so we're still farming, making sure that we get as much farm as possible. With our Rod of Ages now, we have so much sustaining power when we level up, and they aren't really able to harass very much. I see that there's still three bot, and knowing that Amumu and Kale can hold the lane, I'm going to keep pushing a bit. This Lux is incredibly low, and I know that I can get a good if I get a good combo on her, it's going to be an easy kill. She tries to root me, and I riff walked over the, the, the root. I riff walked over the root and managed to get a good combo on her and kill her. Three, the three from bot came up, and I just riff walked away, easily avoiding the kink. Shin tries to kill my turret though, and gets a little too cocky, and a Mumu lands a very good bandage toss on him, and we're able to pick up another kill off of that. And with Garen spinning in, distracting the other three, no damage was done to us. So we're setting up for a good fight here. With Shin being dead, and me able to, to poking as hard as I can, we're able to get a good fight going in. MF gets some good damage on that fiddlesticks and we're able to go in. Tristana tries to jump away. And I rift walk in and use my force pulse and kill her midair. We're going for rumble, and Fiddlesticks turns around and I rift walk towards him and get another kill on him. This picks up the blue buff, and then we're able to pick up this rumble very easily. This is ultimately when we win the lane, and how powerful Kassin has shown to be through the early game.